Warriors fall, 85-72. Welcome back to the Math Night. Joe Abramson along with Rod Beard. And Rod, the Warriors jumped out to a 6-1 lead, and the lead changed. It never came back. Yeah, it was something like a 23-2 run. It, it was just three after three after three after three, and Wayne State didn't answer. Wall shot 51% from the field, and that's just that's a, a number that you're not going to win very many games if you're Wayne State. You, you have to hold a team to about 40 45% if you're going to have a chance. You know, we mentioned that five point lead early in the first half. It became an 18 point deficit before that run at the end of the first half that cut it to 10. The Warriors seem to have something going. Let's take a look at some of those first half highlights. Yeah, Wayne State going early, rotating the ball around. You got Ron Booth here. Gets it to Michael Lewis, and Lewis hits the three. That was the first basket of the game. Wayne State looked good early. Moore coming down here in transition. Takes it himself right off the glass. Wayne State started to, to put some things together early. Basket started to fall for him. Booth, floater, a couple of bounces, and that goes down. But the, the defense would have been the story of this game that they didn't match Walsh's three-point intensity, three-point production. Walsh shot eight for 20. It's a little bit deceptive because they were hot when this game was contested and within reach. Uh, Zach Carter there, 22 points. And their big three combined for 64 of their 85 points. And again, Wayne State only with 72. But their big three carried the day for them. And that was one of the keys. Make sure you get somebody else who's going to be able to contribute. Basket there by uh, Palakis. And that was the first half in that 10-point lead. Deceptive because they had played well enough that that could have been 20. But Wayne State, with that last little push right before halftime, made that where it was within shouting distance at least. Warriors in the second half actually cut it to five, had a chance to get it closer, seemed to just run out of gas. Let's take a look at some of those second half highlights. Again, when you're trying to erase a deficit like that, you got to play picture perfect ball. And there's that guy again, Jesse Harden Jr., 23 points, a uh, high four Walsh. And spinning, sliding, Trey Fletcher, 19 points, 10 rebounds. Nice all around game from him. But Zach Carter getting inside again, he dishes Stephen Carpenter who had 11 points, one of their four guys in double figures, able to put that one down, and then right back to Trey Fletcher. They had so many options on the offensive end that they could go to that it wasn't just one guy. It was actually three, and then they got the complimentary guy. But Ron Booth got hot. That's a three. Here's another pull-up three in transition. Of his 27 points, that's two off his career high. He gets inside here for another deuce, and then here's the pull-up three from Mack and I-75 that um, – you just can't do anything about He knew what he wanted to do before he even crossed half court. It was just a question of how far he was going to pull up to try to get that thing to fall. That was one of those you know it's coming, you still can't stop it kind of shots. Warriors, hey, they got him on the bench. They got him on the fast break. Just didn't get him overall. Free throws, you can't go 16 for 29. No, you, you're, you're not going to make your shots. You're not going to. I mean, you look at 16 for 29, 13 misses. The deficit in this game was 13 points at the final. You make half of those, and, and this game maybe has a different tenor to it. Talk about some of the individual players. You mentioned Harden with his 23. He also had five assists and five rebounds. He was doing a little bit of everything. Carter with 22 and five boards. Fletcher, 19 points and 10 rebounds, leading the way for Walsh. The Warriors, we talked about Booth with his 27 and five boards. Mike Lewis, not a lot of points, seven, but the usual Mike Lewis stat line. Nine rebounds, played hard, did what he had to do. Clark Bishop. Just never really got going. I'll tell you, a guy who had a nice stat line and contributed more than we're used to seeing is George Spencer. George Spencer, absolutely. Seven points, five rebounds, and just seemed to make nice things happen when he was on the floor. Right. When Walsh went smaller, and, and Coach alluded to that, when they went smaller, Wayne State had to counter that, and they went small as well, which gave Spencer a little bit more playing time than maybe he's used to. We didn't see Nadondo, and we didn't see uh, Tristan Wilson in that second half very much at all. And you, when you stay small, you got to go to different guys. Good to see that Spencer's able to produce. Be interesting to see what we get in the final game of the season. We're going to have that for you here on CN 900 on Thursday when the Warriors take on the Finley Oilers. The women will be playing at 5.30. The guys will be playing at 7.30. For my partner, Rod Beard, for Tony Ortiz, for our director, Mike Johnson, and all of our hardworking crew at CN 900, I'm Joe Abramson. We'll see you next time with more Warrior Basketball on CN 900.